A Ryerson student film causing controversy is now getting the attention of some Canadian filmmakers. One going so far as to call for the university president's resignation. He has apologized for the short doc's content, raising questions about freedom of expression on campus. The idea that any kid in the future would be afraid of making, you know, expressing their opinion or making a film or pushing boundaries because the head of the university will come down on them is beyond, is beyond unbelievable. It's a short film that's been gaining traction. This four-minute doc created by Ryerson film students contrasts the flashy lights of Niagara Falls tourism with some of its rundown neighborhoods. After the city's mayor expressed his dismay for the film, he told City News last week that Ryerson's president reached out to him. And they said, no, we're, we apologize for any bad feelings this might have caused. This was done by some of our junior students. We did ask them to remove the, the Ryerson University logo. It's a bunch of good fellows. That reaction now sparking backlash from Canada's documentary film community. Award-winning filmmaker Alan Zweig posted to Facebook calling for Ryerson president Mohammed Lakshmi's resignation. He should uh, announce to all incoming film students, we are gutless and spineless and only uh, films of a Pollyanna nature that celebrate things will be accepted. This Oscar-nominated filmmaker says he doesn't think resignation is necessary, but he believes the president's response should have been one of praise. They made a, a short four-minute film for pretty much no money, and they've managed to generate a huge conversation in national newspapers, on television, and people are now discussing uh, the economic situation in Niagara Falls. That, that shot right there. Just... In an interview with City News last week, the young filmmaker yeah, said they stand right by their film, but they understood the president's concern given the university is currently working on a digital hub in Niagara's downtown. To make it clear that those are our opinions and not the schools. I think it's kind of... Appalling. You yeah. can see they have stakes in Niagara and that they don't want to upset them. So they'd rather keep that um, relationship rather than support its student. On Ryerson's campus, the student doc has remained a hot topic of discussion. It's fantastic. They've gotten their point across. Why is Ryerson not praising them for that? Why are they taking their name off of it? Like, are you kidding me? Benzine and Zweig both agree the president owes the young filmmakers a public apology. Hopefully, one of the people that made that film will go on to be a gigantically famous director, and he will never tell anybody that he went to Ryerson. That will be the punishment. The students behind the short film say they have a meeting with the university's president later this week. They're also planning to create a longer documentary on the topic of Niagara Falls. On the Ryerson campus, Janella Massa, City News.